Hey church family, this is Pastor Bobby. I hope you had a great week this week. I look forward to this weekend worshiping with you in spirit and in truth. I uh, wanted to shoot this video to tell you two things. Number one, uh, if you've not uh, heard that we're starting a brand new series in the Gospel of John, John chapter 15, we're studying through what it looks like and what it means to abide in Christ. So last Sunday we kicked it off and really is a great passage. I've read John dozens, hundreds of times and read John 15, but there's some truth in there that I believe that God revealed to me that will help us in our walk with Jesus. And I want to encourage you, this weekend I'm going to be talking about having a fruitful quiet time. And so if you're like most, their quiet time are very scarce and maybe yours a little dry, I pray that this weekend that I'll share with you a little um, thought and a couple of nuggets on how to have a fruitful quiet time. Now, having said that, the second thing I want to share with you is this. Um, as a church, we normally don't do this, but because of the COVID situation and the times that we're in, we're trying to be flexible. You've, you've been patient, um, and, and it's just the things that are going on. We, we want to let you know if you're at home and maybe that you're still waiting to come back, to church due to the COVID situation. Not necessarily that you're fearful, but you're waiting to things kind of dissipate or ends or, you know, things kind of work itself out. Um, but we're going to be having deacon nominations next Sunday, the 23rd, but we didn't want you to miss out. If you're home and you're a regular and uh, you're a member of our church, I want you to write your nominations in. No more than four. Four of our deacons will be rotating off. So I want to encourage you, um, no more than four, that you can write your nominations in. Send it to us before Sunday. And then Sunday, we'll gather all the names. And then we'll pray through and walk through that next process. And Lord willing, September the 6th, we will then have a vote on the, uh, the next four rotating on as a deacon body. And so I just want you to know, again, um, these times, we just got to be flexible. And we normally don't do that. But it's a way that our current deacons, we just feel like you need to stay connected. We want you to stay connected, and we want to walk through this process with you. And so if you're home and you've not been here and desire to write those nominations in, please do that um, again before Sunday the 23rd. I told you I would share with you two things. Unfortunately, or actually fortunately, um, I want to share with you one more thing. Number three. Hey, listen, my wife and I, church, we deeply love you. We deeply love you. And so I just want you to know that. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what you're facing this week. But just know this. Your pastor, his family, we love you. I've not met all of you. I look forward to meeting all of you. I've met some of you. And I just want you to know, it's I'm grateful, we're grateful to be here as a church, to be here in the city, to be here as pastor of this fellowship, all right? Again, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, 11 a.m. in our gym. God bless.